We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities? For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different, in Night Springs. Tonight's reality-bending episode, Timebreaker. No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop it, and I will come back for you. My love. Take five. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Sean. I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now finally we are making Timebreaker, the video game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop door. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So the vortex and the gadget. I'm, sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's there's just so many acronyms here. But it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter with a SEN shifter energy node to activate the Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. You clearly have your own vision. Um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep through. Somewhere this year, us talking is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. 
Somewhere, your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man. Totally. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. So we got another one of you, huh? Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> no, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <sighs> he finally got you. Are, are you cast in this game, too? Listen to me. There are things you need to know. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? I'd blanked out and I was suddenly someplace else. I'd had gaps in my memory before. But that's the movie star lifestyle for you. This was something else entirely. The last thing I remembered was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. <laughs> Think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off the wall, method acting reality show? It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. And then... I will punch Sam in the face. <laughs> but what had Sam said? I needed to find an energy node and use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. It sounded like me. Insanely, I heard the thoughts of another version. The one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think. Just act. The handwriting was mine. Paranoid theories about the multiverse, the door. The master of many worlds.
energy node was out there in the forest somewhere. I was wasting time. I had to go look for it. The Luma Vista TV. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy the other me had hidden away from this tree. in the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. Okay, I found the creek. So, where's the energy node? trailer and the TV. Use my PRS on it. Dora would be coming for me next. I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. Use the PRS, the polyhedron reality shifter on the TV, to get at it. I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that wherever it would take me, I was going to run into this. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> was in a different reality, but not better, worse. Maybe by thinking of Dor, I traveled closer to him, to where he was in control. Next time, I'd focus on something else.
a Luma Vista TV. I just needed energy to power. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me, the one native to this reality. Maybe Dor had killed him already. Not a happy thought. When I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of Dor. And the Vortex brought me here, where the Timebreakers attacked me. It's you. I made it. Dora pulled you away. Thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on you when I entered the vortex. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. We were making a video game of the multiverse, but now it's suddenly real. Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. 
conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real. Many versions of us all in hidden interaction, linked by the energies that ripple through realities. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers. And yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. And what reality? Not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. Why is he after me? Who is Tor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him, gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. We don't know why, but he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them, bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. I was an RAC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, the door. The master of many worlds.
ocean. Everything sucked dry of color and energy. I had to find door or the means to travel on. It felt like the text was the only thing holding this place together. All of it being reduced to its conceptual form. Soon it would just be words. I was close. I knew I was close now.
have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host. The one and only Warland Boar. And this is...